What's up, Spartans? Welcome to another unboxing episode of a two-pack of Halo figures exclusive from the Jazzwares Vault. Let's check them out. And this two-pack, it's not as unique as the other one because the other one obviously had Noble Six and a Elite Zealot, which were new molds and new figures they were making. This is a re-release, technically, but they did add a few changes to them because originally this was a two-pack in Series 6 that had a Prophet of Truth in it along with Tartarus. But since most fans like myself couldn't find that two-pack anywhere, I'm glad Jazzwares decided to repurpose them and reuse them and get Tartarus back out there. And then even though they changed this to the Prophet of Mercy, that's okay too, because originally the Prophet of Truth figure looked a little bit more like Mercy anyway. So this is cool. I'm glad we got this though, because I was really bummed when I saw that these two packs even existed. I didn't even know they did. Luckily, I found the Master Chief one that came with the you know Flood creature thing. And luckily I found that online, but there's also another one that has Arbiter and Forge in it. And that one I can't find anywhere. So hopefully we'll get a re-release of that at some point too. Two classic Halo characters though, which is cool because we've mainly been getting Halo Infinite characters, which I love and I hope we keep getting some. And especially a re-release of Atriox, I would love that too, since I missed out on him as well. But to get some other Halo characters from other Halo stories and previous games is fantastic and I'm glad they're doing that. So we're gonna take a peek open the window here, show off what they look like in the packaging, which is awesome. Again, Jazzwares Vault Limited Edition, but I do want to open these up and add them to my shelf very quickly. So let's go ahead and do that and see what they look like up close. And I did my best once again, not to damage the box because it's a cool box. I love good box art. And when I see it, I want to preserve it the best I can. So luckily I did, I didn't destroy too much in there, but I also really like these purple base plates. There was another set of figures that came out recently with the two uh, base plates in them that were purple. And I love them. I think these are great. I would love to get some more of those. So I will try to find eBay, see if anyone's selling these because they are really awesome. Like that scheme, that paint scheme on them. And then also we have here the chair for our profit, which is really cool. So you just actually pop this in to place there. Boom. And then now we have the profit in a floating chair, which he can sit in and puppeteer his covenant tell them all these lies that will get them to follow him and uh yeah it's really cool and the, and the neat thing is you don't really need the base plate for him at all um you can use you can put them on it if you want but there's nothing in there to like clamp in so he can kind of stand on his own which means you can give this to another character that maybe doesn't have a base plate which is great because i actually do have a couple characters that could use a stand to hang out on. So we have him and the Prophet, and he looks great. Let me pull him up closer here so you can kind of get a good look at him too. I can't wait to add him to the shelf. I would love to get the other Prophets at some point too, even though it would just be a repaint and remold, slight remolds of this character. Still, it would be nice to have all of them up. That would be really cool. Even if they did like a box set with the other ones all at once, that'd be awesome. I'd pay for it for sure. And uh, yeah, he looks great. The details in the, the plate here where he's, you know, his... I guess, throne and his hover chair uh, is really cool with the gold and then some of the light blue up here, like the cyan. Looks good. Yeah, I'm really happy with this figure. I saw some people review online. I think I saw one person review the other two pack, the one that came out before, and uh, and it looked cool. It looked really good. And so I'm glad to have at least a version uh, of that one here in my collection now. And then we got Tartarus, the ruthless Tartarus. Really cool awesome figure tall too compared to the other obviously he's going to be bigger than the other four inch characters um but they did a really good job on him and yeah i was right look at that he actually holds it better in that hand a little bit than in this hand so yeah just something to note but his legs are good sturdy the joints work you got a ball joint in the upper thighs so you can get some more motion with them turns at the waist the lower waist here and uh, he has a little bit of movement there's it looks like they're supposed to be like a crunch here where he can move his torso up and down, but it's very limited because of this waistband here that's going over his shoulder too. So that restricts him a little bit, but he's got some head movement, arm movement, even with this, with the giant rock on the side, still has some good movement there. So yeah, overall, oh man, I'm really happy with this. To have Tartarus is really cool as part of the set. Cause again, I never knew where this series was going. Like the world of Halo, when they first started them, I was like, this is what I want. I want one scale, even though I got some of the Spartan collection figures, because that's only, I thought that was going to be the only way they released the Noble Team. So I got the Noble Team in the, the Spartan collection, but now it looks like we might get them in this collection, and I'd be really happy with that, because 
having a uniform look and size for all the characters is what I like in a collection. I'm kind of like a scale guy like that. Um, it's not the end of the world if things are out of scale to me. You know, if I have to get a version of a character uh, and it doesn't match up perfectly, I'm okay with it. It's still fine as long as I can get it. But uh, having them all in this line would be awesome. And then having some of the characters that are bigger, like Tartarus, be a little bit bigger than Master Chief. And Master Chief's even a little bit bigger than the Marines and some of the human characters. So they're doing a really good job at this. And I would really hate to see this line go away especially with so much more they could do. And I'm sure Jazzwares feels the same. So if you're a fan out there and you're, you know, especially a Halo fan and you're a collector, if you're looking for a good line of Halo figures, this is a great one. And you can start collecting now because with these Jazzwares exclusives, it looks like they're going to do a series of them. Uh, we got single figures, two packs, multi-packs, like we did with the big shot ones with all the heroes in them. I mean, it looks like they're going all out and they're going to try to release one of these Every often, it looks like, because I think it was only like five or six weeks ago that the first wave came out where it had the box set and the Halo 4 Master Chief. And now here we are like five, six weeks later with these two packs, uh, with them and then also the Noble Six and Elite Zealot. So if we, if it's every six to eight weeks, we get another small release, I would be so happy. As a Halo fan, I'd be so happy. And hopefully it's making other Halo fans out there happy. So if you are collecting these, let me know. If not, let me know, you know, what characters would get you to collect these. I'd love to hear all that. Who are your, some of your favorite Halo characters? Let us know down below and we'll keep talking down there. Thanks so much. See you in the future. Peace.